Good morning and happy Wednesday, you guys. I just woke up. I am getting ready to uh, edit the vlog. It's raining outside, which is really weird because it doesn't usually rain this time of year. It's usually more like, I don't know what you would call it, like hazy, like you know how the winter sky is like a gray blanket of like clouds. It's usually like that here in the winter, but it doesn't usually rain a lot in the winter. Uh, it rained today, so that was weird. So it's kind of a gloomy day. I'm gonna make some coffee and I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna try to do dinner like earlier in the day so that when Tim gets home it doesn't take me forever to have his dinner ready because he is stopping off at the store because tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So, <laughs> uh, so he's gonna go do that on his way home, which is so, I mean, I, I literally hate the grocery store, but I couldn't hate it more than right before the holiday, like any holiday, like any, absolutely any holiday, the day before, I do not wanna be at the grocery store. So he is wonderful and he is gonna go to the store on his way home from work which is so, so nice. So I'm going to have dinner like ready for him as soon as he gets home. So I was just about finished editing and uh, somebody came to the door and I was like, I'm not expecting anything. I don't know what this is. And Tim totally got me the vacuum that I wanted for my birthday. If you came to the live mail vlog, you know that somebody asked us what was on our Christmas list and it's this vacuum and Tim got it delivered today for my B-Day. Um, Amazon is so crazy. Like it's so awesome that you can order something and get it delivered like in a 16 hour period. And that's what he did. So now I have the most amazing vacuum cleaner. I have to show it to you. So I figured I would show you guys what came in the box. So I got some multi-surface cleaner. Ooh, so exciting. All right, let's get to the uh, like nitty gritty here. I think this is the actual machine. Okay, wait, hold on. Getting ahead of myself. Okay, so there's this. I don't know what it is. It looks like a tray for like a baby when you feed a baby. There's the handle. I know what a handle is. <laughs> yeah, most professional unboxing video ever. Here's this crazy thing. So how do I... Oh yeah, there it is. All right, there it is. I have another Bissell, which I also made a video about a few years ago. I'll show you that. It is the Bissell bolt and it's basically just like a dust buster that is also attached to like a little um you know like a little tiny vacuum head and i use this just daily to get up the dog hair <laughs> i say daily but you know what i mean um and then you can take this out which is great so you have a little dust buster there so that little thing this little plate thing is actually, I guess because this is actually a vacuum cleaner and a mop. So it's basically what it sits on so that you don't get everything wet, but you can see here, this has like those little microfiber roll thingy here. So it's like it vacuums and then mops the spot that you just vacuumed all in one. So I hope you guys can understand why I'm so excited about this vacuum cleaner because it's so amazing. I think, I haven't used it yet. Because I can't figure out how to get the little, this part in there, it doesn't quite fit and I'm afraid to break it. So Tim will be home in a little bit and I'll just have him figure it out, I guess, cause I need to go start dinner. So I decided to make some stuffed peppers with the rice that we got from Tijuana Flats the other day. So I just kind of like rehydrated um, this rice cause it really, really dried out. So I put some chicken stock, crushed tomatoes, water, uh, Taco Bell seasoning, like Southwest seasoning, onions, scallions, garlic. So now I'm gonna cook these at 400 degrees for seven minutes. And I just put a little olive oil and salt and pepper. Um, but yeah, I think this is gonna be pretty good. And I didn't know if I would be able to make this rice like taste good again. But <laughs> I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this rice mixture that I made tastes pretty dang delicious. Um, I'm just gonna put some cheese on it, throw those in the oven for, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes. Look at this dinner, it's just all cheese and crackers. Like, that is delicious. Oh, by the way, I'm home. hey -oh! It's Wednesday, good day Wednesday. I'm gonna eat a lot of cheese now. I feel a lot better than I did yesterday. You know what I want for my birthday? What? I want you, cause okay, have you ever heard that if you eat too much cheese you get constipated? Yeah. So for my birthday, I want you to be constipated. Like, All right. there's so much cheese in this dinner. You sure you don't want yeah. this vacuum right here that I bought you for your birthday? I do want this vacuum. Look he, at that He thing. was able to get the handle on, I forgot to show you guys. I got the handle on. It was really hard. It was difficult. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try to figure out how to use it. Let's do that after dinner though. I gotta eat my cheese. So. Here's what the plan was for tonight. The idea all day long while I was at work, I was like, we're gonna go to Disney Springs tonight. We're gonna watch the drone show. If you guys don't know, Disney Springs has a new drone show that happens, what is it, happens at seven and eight, I think? Eight, I think it's seven and eight. Seven and eight thirty, around there. Sometimes you'll have to check the My Disney Experience app to like get more information on it. But basically it's like 300 plus drones that are all 
controlled by computer and they go up over the water at Disney Springs and they form shapes and different lights and stuff like that. Sounds really cool and it's all set to music. It, like The videos that I've seen look really cool and I want to see it. I want to see it in person. But on the way home from work today, I stopped off at the grocery store to pick up a few things for Thanksgiving tomorrow and holy macaroni, the grocery store was so crowded. Like there was a ton of people there. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself like, man, if the grocery store is crowded, what's Disney Springs gonna be like? Like there's gonna be people everywhere. So we decided to stay in tonight, <laughs> which makes sense. Like uh, a lot of people ask me, they say like, Tim, when are you going back to the parks? And I'm like, I don't know, like today. I'm like, I'm going to Disney Springs. And then I got to the grocery store and I'm like, no, I don't wanna do that. Like I don't wanna go down there and, and, and fight the crowds. Because there's, there should be, I don't know, I'm not there. But there more than likely will be a ton of people there. And I know that at least once this week, there has not been parking at Disney Springs, which is pretty intense. And also it's cloudy out tonight. So I don't know if they like, how high up the drones go, if they go into the clouds, if they don't go into the clouds, like if the clouds even affect them at all. Maybe they don't even do them on cloudy nights. I don't know. So... We decided to wait until a better occasion to go and see the drones at Disney Springs, but I'm not 100% yet. So hopefully by tomorrow, it'll be Thanksgiving and we'll have like a nice relaxing day, eat a lot of food, and then maybe Friday go out there? I don't know, we'll see. Friday is Black Friday though, big shopping day. Who knows? All right, now we're gonna give this guy a try, see how it works out. Kind of excited. Uh, basically it's like a shampooer, like a very small shampooer. So they gave me like a little bit of formula and I put it in here with some water. And then we just put it in the vacuum and like, go to town. I'm excited. Jen's gonna do the kitchen first because, I mean, the kitchen should be the dirtiest floor because there's food and the dogs, that sort of stuff. It's not like disgustingly dirty. It's probably just a little bit dirty. We'll, well who knows? Well, as soon as I do this, it's probably gonna come out like real dirty. We're using it now. We're doing it. It smells really good. We're making people happy. <laughs> Now granted, we didn't clean after the party, like we didn't mop the floor. <laughs> like, like this is only dirt from the party. But, this is just from the kitchen. That's crazy. We also don't Holy like... Holy cow. I don't think I've mopped the kitchen in a long time. And you mopped it before the party. Well, I Swiffer mopped it. That's not really mopping. I don't, I don't know. think. I think like actually mopping is... This is pretty intense though. Yeah, like, I'm so glad we have this. So right now, we're trying to set up the GoPro because um, we got these flowers. Also, if you didn't see the video from the other day, we had a party and it was catered and the chafing dish like leaked all over the table. And so the table is discolored. I'm gonna try some of the stuff you guys told us in the comments the other day to, uh, to try to get it out. But we figured it would be kind of cool to do a time-lapse video of that flower opening because I think it's gonna open probably tonight, I would imagine it looks, it looks pretty close to opening. So, and it'll look like these guys over here and they're so pretty, so I thought that would be a cool video, but our GoPro is having some issues, so I don't know. We figured it out. Well, Tim figured it out. <laughs> it's charging now, so yay. So we will get a time-lapse video of that guy right there uh, opening. I think it's opening right now. Can you see it? I don't know. I gotta start this. There it is, a little behind-the-scenes time-lapse video. Some people always ask me what my settings are. I do uh, a photo every 10 seconds. Oh, five seconds, sorry. Well, I told him to do five for the flower because I feel like it's gonna happen sort of quickly. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. Oh no, we're dumping the water out now. We did three rooms. We did the hallway, like the front foyer, the kitchen, and the laundry room. Look at it, it's so gross. Oh my God. Oh man. You guys, oh God, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> oh, no. This is so disgusting. I can't believe how dirty our house was. This is like the best vacuum cleaner ever in the world. It was so easy. Yeah, and it got the house really clean. I mean, I hope. I hope there's not more. Like, maybe I should do it again. Oh, no. Oh. What if more comes out when you do it again? I'll cry. <laughs> so there was still some cake from uh, the other night. So we're having some cake. And we're catching up on Below Deck. I am officially, like, uncatching up on Below Deck. Like, I'm learning less about it. That's what I'm doing. I'm watching, I don't, I'm watching negative episodes of Below Deck. Is there a show called Above Deck? Because that's what I'm watching. No, it's 8 o'clock the next morning and it didn't open. The GoPro took 7,000 pictures though. Oh goodness. 
I'm gonna have to go through and see if anything interesting happens in those 7,000 pictures, but yeah, it never opened. Ding ding. We'll put the time lapse in here at the end. You guys can watch it if you'd like to. It's basically like four minutes of nothing. So, uh, you know, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.